Hello, hello, Blake Hart here. Excited because there's a new expansion. Yeah, I've been um, been gone for a little bit here. Uh, I'm in need of a haircut. I've been quarantined, locked in still. I am in New Jersey. And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Still, still living that quarantined life. Uh, school's canceled for the rest of the year. And yeah, I, it's the new normal. But regardless of that, here today to talk about Anima Ascent, I'm really excited about this. This really is sort of the space where I've been playing around in. So, I mean, it calls itself what? Visionary Contemporary Pop. But what it is, it's like really like, so it says modern genre bending pop sound. So that's like blending trap, R&B, soul. Uh, down here, if you go down and it talks about like, you know, what genre it mentions, Pioneer by the likes of Billie Eilish, Halsey, Cautious Clay, and others. It's pop, but um, not as you might know it. And this is sort of like the playlist I've been listening to, like the bedroom pop playlist. Um, and then we talk about maybe like artists like Glass Animals. Uh, there's there's so much exciting stuff going on right now where you don't have to stay in the lines of like what we've known as pop, right? It's just like make music that you love and that you feel. So to me, I'm excited to give this a listen. I haven't listened to it yet. I like to keep this, I, when I make these videos, I just like it to be new most of the time. Um, sometimes it doesn't always work that way, but when it is, you get my genuine impression of of the expansion. So we're going to get uh, 411 loops, uh, 40 battery drum kits, 47 machine kits. So this seems like there's going to be a lot of stuff here. Uh, excited. 66 massive presets. Okay, that's a lot of presets. Don't usually get that many. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, I should mention, so this is by uh, Ivory Bull. So they tell you who it's by, so had to look the, this guy up, and I mean, he's he's legit, right? If you look at um, his LinkedIn profile here, you can see all the work he's done and currently working for Warner Chappelle Music. So he has a lot of experience doing a lot of music composition work here, it says, for commercial film TV. Um, you know, I, I just want to point this out because I think you don't often see or take the time to look at who is behind the expansion and it's important to really see that the talent is top talent right these expansions are so good because of the people that native instruments is able to um you know hire to to make this stuff so i'm excited about it and want to give it a listen so let's do that we'll give it a listen and then we'll we'll try to make a little something because i haven't been making as much music as i've wanted to lately uh so that sounds like a, f a fun plan. The really cool thing I have to say is it begins with an A. It is so hard to find these expansions sometimes. And I do, I am grateful. I have many of them, as you can see. Um, obviously, that's a great position to be in. I'm not complaining. Well, I guess I sort of am when I say it's hard to find things. But, you know, it begins with an A. So it's easy to find it. Yes. Uh, so let's listen to some of these kits. Turn this up a little bit. I think. Let's see. Maybe I just turn my headphones up. So let's load this one up because I also like to get an idea of the patterns that it comes with because I'm a big proponent of patterns. If you've seen any of my videos, you will know that um, because it's nice to have something to start with. So here we've got something that's in 140 and I'm just like going to click these off and we can listen to the actual pattern. So let me speed this up because like I said, it's originally in 140. That's nice. And this is just really great to get to make music fast. Because I believe that's what slows us down from creating and being in that zone is, you know, when you've, you, you want to make music, but you're like, oh, I'm so, I'm not good at laying down drums. And this is what's so nice is being able to come into something like this and have these drum kits and patterns all put together for you. This is cool. 
can say I really appreciate this. So he, what he's done here is he's taken this kit, right? And he's used it to create a pattern at 140, 130, and 100. I haven't seen that before. Uh, not to say that it doesn't exist. I don't know everything, but this is one of the first times I've seen that and I think it's a really nice touch. He did the same thing here too. So this is made at 115. He's got these at 110. And then... So that's really, that's really awesome. Yeah, I was going to say this is a chord kit, which is nice. stuff on same type of thing 110 and get up to 120 so there's a lot of kits here different flavors chords nice cool another one so a lot of fun stuff to play around with Fun, fun stuff. All right, cool. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Bass. Slow that one up. Try to. Whoa. If you are listening on a phone, you will not hear that. You need headphones to hear that. All right, let's check this out. Let's see what these massive presets are since there's so many of them, um, which is, again, exciting. And I think they're always in regular massive, so let's take a look there. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot here. Wow. Let's take a look at that one. And so just to show you, if you're not familiar, I mean, you can, you can open up Massive and you can play around and reshape these sounds if you want to. Uh, so that's something nice if you're into that. Um, and there were some monarch things, right? Let's so let's take a look at that because I caught that it said there were some monarch. 
add, so let's go into there. So two, lead, and this bass, which is cool. Bring it down. All right, so let's take a look now at what kind of loops we got going on. So there's a lot of loops listed here. Everything's nicely labeled which is how it's been for the past, you know, year plus of expansion, so that's cool. So drum loops if you want to work with these. A lot of drums, so that's nice. A lot of drums have been broken off, broken apart, so you can drop in loops. Yeah, you usually don't, it's a lot of drum loops, which is fun, it's awesome. Uh, the full stuff, and then let's just miss on this guitar. Based on this picture and like LinkedIn, he was playing guitar. I mean, he could play, I'm sure he plays everything. I'm sure he plays keys too, but this is nice. The guitar stuff is nice. A lot of nice loops in this this pack for sure. Some perk loops. It's always nice to add texture. Some plucks. and stuff all right let's look at let's see what we got for one shots here and this is a long list too i mean you're getting a lot of stuff in this expansion these neat chords um so that's fun you can work with all those and so we have our drum one shots here, um, kicks, guitar licks. Look at all these licks. That's cool. Very cool. Pads, perks. Let's see, shakers, of course. That's, this is what I was looking for. Special effects. These are fun to use. They come in handy. Definitely come in handy. And then we have some vocals here. Uh -huh. And these are always fun to add in too. All right, so there's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this and, and, and make something, right? Um, I'm gonna delete this. Monarch um, instance, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is like, generally one of the things I do is I'll start with Scalar. I'll put the link below to Scalar. It's just a really handy tool to pick out your chords. One of the things that's really helpful is I bought this chord pack by MG The Future. I'll put the link down there below too. And so you can load those in. So you don't have to like, 
reinvent the wheel. Somebody's done it for you. Um, so let me see. I'm trying to see what I might want to start in. Um, maybe I'll just like go for G. go for that. Um, so people have asked me about this before, like, how do I, you know, get, <clears throat> get my MIDI into my track. So I just, I mean, it's pretty easy. Just drag it here. I've got it there. I usually keep scalar open because I want to keep know I, what chords that I have in my progression. And that's the easiest way for me to remember and see it. Um, so then I'll open some, I'll actually copy all of these, take them from here and I'll move them to this other group and then I will put some sound in here um, let me get something in here let's see we're gonna use everything um, in this expansion so let me open up massive again and let's get back there um, and <laughs> Fresh roads. Actually, and the other thing that's really important, I do not want to be that fast. Let's see. can hear this. And then I'm going to copy these, but I need to close out with a different chord. So let's see this. And that will be that D major there. Um, so I'll just drag this back here. And then I know the last one is my D major. And that's what I want to close this out with because it you can feel that it, it adds some closure to that chord progression. So let's give it a listen. All right, so we can take that. Um, you know, with this, like it sounds, uh, I mean, we're going to add some swing here. Um, to, to the total groove, but I sort of want this to feel like a little more strummed. So I would go in and just sort of play around with each of these notes to give it um, sort of a unique feel. So when it goes, it uh, I should actually tell you one of the, the important things is, so I'm on 116th now. So what you want to do down here is you want to take it something like 128. So you have a little more play in terms of um, how like fine tuned you can make these notes and you just want to go through I'm not gonna you know for the sake of this I'll probably speed it up um, but you just want to go through and just play around with them um, so that they have some variety and it, it sounds more human as if somebody was actually playing it So the other thing we want to do now is we just want to label things so that we know what's what, keep ourselves organized, I generally label this the chords, and I usually just take scalar and I keep it at the end of things. So we have our chords now, so let's actually put in um, a lead. And we'll probably like play around with some samples too, right? So maybe I'll just make another one for that now, call it sample. And then I usually have one that I call extras. So that's usually like, hmm, like sound effects. Uh, if I put like any kind of vocals or just like other little things that I may put in. So let's speed this up maybe a little bit. All right, so let's pick something else out here. Let's pick out a lead. 
I mean, other thing I said that I can do, I mean, and, and again, this is, this is the fun of making music, right? There's so many choices. So we did have a lot of one shots here that were in this expansion. So if I go up and I said I'm in G, um, so let's see. So I generally just put G in the search bar. You're going to come up with a ton of stuff, right? Because there's a lot of stuff. So G sharp. So this was... <laughs> Those are G. And one of the things, right? I'm in G, so I have I have a D in there. What else do I have? Because I'm like the worst at let me first of all I'm gonna delete these so I don't play those ever by mistake. So G major, A, B minor, D major. So actually let me back out of there. And if there was something that was like a B minor that was interesting? No. Um, just trying to see if I can use any of this guitar stuff and it might sound cool. So that was the chord synth. Actually, we had loops, right? Guitar loops. What was in here? Oh yeah, there was some cool stuff in here. So I'm curious what this is, uh, you know, if I'm sure somebody else might know exactly what chords they're playing, but I don't. So one of the things I can do is I can right click on this, say find it in Finder, and then I can use Dakota. I can just like put it in here and it'll tell me. So... I do like that, but that's not going to go with what I got going on. Um, it's got like completely different chords, so that's probably not going to be a good choice for me. Oh. Huh, I wonder what something like that might sound like in back of my, let's see, of course, what was it? pad so that's called a pad pad g selecta pad 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 i can't see it but i'm sure it's here yeah so that speed this is Now. So what if I take on here, what if I put something like um, Cable Guy's Halftime on there? back there maybe we'll see right I mean it's all the fun is like playing but there's a lot of <laughs> things to play with over here um, and even if I found let's see let me go back to just these one shots here and <laughs> So sometimes it's easier if you find something like this, like a one shot that you want to use or a loop you want to use to actually insert that first, find out what the chords are in Dakota, build the chords around that particular loop um, or transpose it and then build the chords around that loop than it is to start with the chords. Uh, so maybe not the best example that I was like leading you down that road, but it's just another option. Like there's so many options as to how you may want to create a song. They're limitless and in a 30 minute video, clearly Clearly, I've got to head down one path, and once I get too caught up somewhere, it eats up time, and I want to make this exciting for you, right, and actually create something here. Uh, so, yeah, when I make my own stuff, like, I'm not making it in 10 minutes. I mean, I'm I, sometimes, yeah, but not all the time. <laughs> and um, even when I make something in 10 minutes, you know, there's a lot of other time that goes into fine-tuning it.
for me. either I just can't um, not finding the right sound and it's not for shortness of sound right there's <laughs> there it is there's the sound there it is uh, I gotta turn up a little bit and that's the sound see where it sits figure out how to work with it though. got that. Let's see. And of course, I still have it in 128. So one thing you want to remember to do is to bring that back because then when it quantizes, it's not going to quantize basically. So you better be spot on or um, it's not going to work out. So let's see how I did. Not horrible. I mean, it's not horrible. And the other thing is, um, I mean, it's not horrible, and it's just, I sort of like it, actually, because I'm a little bit, just a little bit off, like, in a few places, but it sort of sounds nice. Uh, it's not horrible being off. So we've got that in there and let's just sort of like start getting our vibe. So let's bring in some drums here. And some people like to bring in drums from the get go. I sort of, sort of 
start to work, create my vibe, and then go for the drums. Um, let's see what this is. I had open before I was up to 110 to uh, let's see I think I can do better. There was one back here I liked, I feel like. sounds like yeah that's not the one keep this one um, I'm gonna actually go to the group and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give it a little bit of swing here <laughs> leave it like that. I feel 
like I need another sample in here that's like really going to just be like the meat of 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 this song. Like there needs to be something else here. Because this is an awesome expansion and I'm not doing it justice at this point in time. So see what we can find. Of course, my computer's starting to back up. No, don't back up. All right, let's see what we can get in here. Um, let's see. Say my what did I say my chords were again? Because <laughs> I always forget this. I always forget this. So G, A, B minor, D. Not that. Let's see. Let's go to where were and maybe that was in the loops. No, here they are. that on take that off side and put that here let's see It'd help if I put in the right spot right
All right, let's add in a few extras. So, I mean, really, this all is going to work once we throw it into an arrangement. Uh, and it's like coming together. So you can see how like I hit this like rough patch and I was like, oh, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going on. I can't find the right sounds. But then eventually it all gels together. So I think this is like a really good learning opportunity for for you guys seeing this video is like, you know, it's like being new and, and just starting like doing this, like if you're out there and you see like, oh, I'm not sure where I'm going. This is crap. Like I'm making crap. Like just stick with it. Um, stick with it because it's not like you're, you know, going to just it's like painting a, a picture, right? It's not like everyone's going to start out painting that picture and it's going to be the most amazing picture ever, right? But with each new brushstroke or deciding to change a particular area, adding, I don't know, a new texture else, elsewhere, it starts to change the whole, the whole picture that you're, you're, you're drawing or painting, if you want to use that analogy, right? So point is, I guess, don't get frustrated. Um, so let's go in and let's see what kind of extras were in here. And we'll go into the one shots and um, whoops. And there were those um, synth miss. So what do I have chosen here? I wanted to, why? Oh, I have my search bar. When in doubt, realize you've got your, you've got something in your search. So I wanted to go down to the SFX. <laughs> So something like that. And then let's see what the vocals were. Whoops. Let's play with this. And so when you go on these, you just want to make sure that you're, you know, we were in G and you want to make sure, like if I put this into keyboard mode, I want to make sure that I'm actually in G, which is what my song's in. So that when I play anything, it's in key. Um, let's see this one. Okay, so that's sort of cool. Um, so we could play around with something like that um, if I did. So let's see where it makes sense. So we'll ring these down. And uh didn't mean to do that. And it's much easier. I mean, if you guys, <laughs> I don't have a camera on it, but when you're doing this kind of stuff, it really is much easier to use the hardware. <laughs> throw something else in here.
also like a another um well i need a base so let's let's take care of that um so for the base i'm going to make it easy on myself in this demonstration i'm going to copy these cores i'm going to take them over here put them in the base um and who is excited for easy base i'm really excited for that from tune track it's coming out uh, i think the 18th or 19th so super excited about that can't even tell you how excited i am uh super excited super excited so we'll take that up there and then maybe that would be see what happens with that down take that there uh, but I'll use this to hop up to the next one um, boom, boom. just do that and I don't know if that's gonna be too low so do that so I'm gonna take all these I'm actually going to bring them down an octave and pick a base right haven't done that yet so we'll go back into the bases actually this base was pretty cool um, it was really low whoops in here really low let me use this one that's more like a 808 though um It's like way too low actually so I do have to bring it up let's put this one there I'm actually gonna hop in I want to see what's over in um in the massive presets one and click on base oh it's burn base I like this oh arr, don't do that I'll take that out this is like too much movement So this last chord, it, I, it, it needs to be this one because it just sounds weird that it goes up. So that should work better. this one I'll replace this with something else so let's take a look to 
each side again. This is fun. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to lay it out, and then I'm going to play it for you as the um, last song at the end of this video. But thank you for watching today. Anima Ascent. Um, let's bring it up again so you can all see it. Um, Anima Ascent. It is, this is fun. This is really a fun expansion. There's a lot of everything. I think what I would have done differently to probably showcase this expansion a little bit better, because like, I mean, I, I I just do the best I can, right? But I think what the this expansion will be great at really using those samples, those guitar licks, those guitar chords. There's a lot of fun sample stuff um, or stuff that you can use as samples to get you going and then build around that versus what I did, which was like, I was like, oh, I'm going to pick my chords out. And that's usually what I do. And I think this is a great learning opportunity for me to really consider how I can you know, build myself further and grow as a producer and thinking of the different ways that I can start songs. And I'm actually going to give that a try as soon as I get a chance, like later tonight, I'm going to build something. I'm going to start with these loops and I'm going to build off of those. Um, and uh and go from there because i think this guitar stuff is just like really killer uh, for 49 bucks i mean this is i mean it's an awesome expansion this is really high quality you're getting a lot of kits you're getting a lot of patterns you're getting a lot of um oh i just realized there's actually prism presets which let's take a uh, a look at that really quick because i don't really i didn't catch that and there's not really that's not something you see a lot of right so let me catch that because I really, I, I want to be fair. I want to make sure I, I cover everything that's in here. So you can see like there's not a ton of expansions that have had prison presets. So what do we have there? Oh, that's sort of cool too. Listen to that. Huh. That's cool. That's a cool sound. I, I feel too bad I missed that one because these are definitely I like um, where that sits. I like where that, that one sits in the mix, right? Which is really nice. And something to be conscious of when you're picking sounds. Ah, yeah, man. curious if I take this, uh, copy this, and put it on here, and shut that one down. It's a little loud. It's a little better in the mix there. What if we layer them? Turn this one down a little more. So as I was saying, but got distracted. Um, definitely a really cool expansion. Use my link below to go check it out. Help support the channel. Native Instruments gives me a little bit of a tip for sending you their way. Thank you so much for watching. 
I appreciate you sticking with me, even though I don't have regular content coming out. Uh, I've got lots and lots and lots of ideas, and I've been playing around in Ableton a lot lately, um, which has been really exciting. So I want to talk a little bit about that, a little bit about uh, the workflow I've been using there with machine and complete control. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to make those videos soon, and hopefully I'll, I'll see you soon. Again, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you again. Bye.